brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. Today we're talking you and I track and field with head coach Dave Paulson as we're just a few weeks away from the Missouri Valley Conference. Outdoor championships in the middle of May will be hosted at Drake Stadium. And uh, coach, uh, feels like we're maybe halfway into this uh, outdoor season, maybe a little bit more, but uh, had a good weekend down in Iowa City last weekend where you had some kids really came out, performed well. I know it's been kind of not ideal weather, but what have you been seeing from your kids battling here this first month? Yeah, I think uh, this was the first weekend we saw a really good collective push with our entire team, like all event areas across the board. And so I think up to this point, we had certain event groups that did well at different points during the season, but to have a weekend where everyone kind of clicked on the same day, uh, made huge jumps forward as far as like performances and where you end up on the rankings for the Valley uh, descending order list. And so <clears throat> not satisfied by any means with where we're at, but definitely encouraged with the progress made the last couple weeks. Uh, shot putter Darius King leads the Missouri Valley Conference in the shot put, ranked sixth in the NCAA. Uh, went over 66 uh, feet, five inches in the shot put down in Iowa City, improving that UNI school record that he held. Yeah, it was terrific to see. It was a great competition. I think uh, at the time, uh, Darius and a kid from Iowa, they went back and forth. I think. Before all the results were in, they were the fourth and fifth best throws in the country up until you know everything got put in. And so to have that kind of a competition, uh, I think was big time for him just because a lot of times we go to meets and he's he's at a point in his career where he's really, really good. And so it's it's tough sometimes to find the right competition for him. And so for that to be there uh, in that moment, just like 80 minutes away from Cedar Falls was uh, terrific. And he responded in great fashion and, and found a way to win the thing. You also had uh, Tom Yezik winning uh, the discus. He ranks number one in the Missouri Valley Conference. What are you seeing from Tom this outdoor? season. I think for him the consistency things that he's been working on technically since the fall are really starting to show itself in, in some of the some of the marks that he's been throwing and again that competition was really great too he ended up winning it on his last throw uh, in the order so he he jumped the guy in the lead with only one thrower to go and then the other guy you know he, just, he couldn't quite get get there and so uh, those kind of competitions are huge especially when you're talking about going into the conference meet or the regional championships when you got to have you know three throws to get get that mark out there to get to the final round. You got uh, the Drake relays that uh, happening right now this week. We're talking to Coach before he heads down uh, to Des Moines this week of the Drake relays. But really another opportunity for those kids to go up against some good competition and, and get a few athletes uh, uh, kind of in that championship atmosphere. For sure, our athletes love the Drake relays. I mean, uh, they're in a lot of them from the state of Iowa, so they ran the state meet. Uh, down there and so to get a chance to get get against some of that good competition we got big 10 big 12 sec schools is uh, coming in so uh, another really good opportunity to just get out there uh, test ourselves a little bit um, get around some teams we don't see a whole lot and just see if we can get some some really good performances you have uh, parker kiewit uh, doing excellent in the long jump uh, has that ability to to work into that sprints mix uh, do some multis uh, you've got a couple of young athletes parker kind of one of those that's really kind of stepping up doing whatever role seems to be asked of them yeah, Parker's a great talent to have, and uh, I think the hardest thing with him is trying to figure out where we can use him to most maximize his abilities. And so he does such a great job from the jumps to the sprints, uh, now up to the long sprints. He's ranked second in the Valley in the 400, uh, ranked top three in the 200, ranked second in the long jump. And so you can kind of see, oh, the dilemma with him is trying to, there's just not enough time uh, for him to rest in between events. So just trying to figure out how we're going to piece him into the conference meet where we can maximize his abilities uh, point-wise for the team. But he's a terrific kid and uh, works really hard. And it's just been fun to see his development in the last couple of years. The, the collective team as a whole, do you see uh, them kind of maintaining that good competitive mind space to get ready for this final push? Absolutely, it's all about the competition uh, side of things. And so we're at the point now in the season where a lot of the work has been done training wise. And so you just got to get yourself into some opportunities on the track on the weekends, uh, kind of see where we can push this thing. But really pleased with the last couple of weeks and, and how much progress we've made and the push that we've made. And so we just got to keep that into the Drake Relays this weekend. You know, and then we'll go to Wisconsin. We'll run a lot of kids up there too, because it's like we, we haven't had the greatest spring as far as weather goes. And so anytime you can take advantage of what Mother Nature is going to give us, and usually when you hit it and hit that May, it really starts to turn around for us, but uh, I do like where we're at. We're not satisfied by any means, but, but the, the, the push to the final end is coming real soon. All right, we'll have more with Dave Paulson coming up here on Panther Sports Talk.